In a gut-wrenching house hearing yesterday, a crime victim's advocate and heartbroken mothers testified on Capitol Hill yesterday, confronting lawmakers about the death of their children at the hands of violent criminals who crossed into our country illegally. As a daughter of immigrant parents, I am ashamed of what the Biden and Harris administration has done to our country by opening our borders to all, including criminals who are wolves in sheep's clothing. Our girls deserve protection. Our girls deserve to live their life without fear. Because of the Biden Harris administration open border policies catch and release, they were enrolled in the alternatives to detention program. This meant that they were released into the United States. It was not even a full three weeks later that they would take my daughter, Jocelyn Nungare's life. I can't even fathom what was going through Jocelyn's mind, the amount of fear she was feeling in the last moments of her life. She went for her daily run um, the next, she didn't come home that night. She was strangled. She was raped. The medical examiner said she had bruises that blanketed her body. She had, um, 10 to 15 head wounds, and she was stuffed into a drain pipe. An illegal immigrant, he crossed the border three times, was sent back. The fourth time, he was a gotaway. Her children are having a hard time. All of us as a family are having a hard time. We have nightmares. Democrat on the committee accused Republicans of politicizing their pain. This is how they responded what is happening today at this committee hearing, where we have colleagues who are exploiting people's pain for political purposes. And unfortunately, that's what's happening today. No, I, w I am not being forced to be here. I am here because I want to be here and I want changes to be made. No, I don't feel You're here to talk. I don't feel exploited in any way. As a matter of fact, I find it very interesting that all five minutes for both of your testimonies on the left have not had any questions for us up here. It's insulting that you would say that to these families that you would make an assumption that they're being used or exploited anyway. Not one time when her daughter was murdered and I was helping her navigate the criminal justice system, that one Democrat call me to offer their assistance. It was only Republicans and I am an independent. I both, I vote both ways. I'm so it's insulting. You. No, please don't speak over me because I'm still talking. Okay. Was, was I'm, I'm, I'm not done. I have the mic. I have the floor. The I have has, the floor. If you want to answer me, you ask. Has the time and the witness is yeah. allowed to respond. So I'm, I'm asking, you said some very broad statements. It's insulting. These people lost loved ones. They lost children. And we want to see a difference. We may not understand everything that's going on, but I assure you that we're not being used in any way.